we need to create a project project window copy the location path just click it here no we need to write down the name school driver so uh, give the location path control v just select accept okay we have just created a project now just uh, copy this image here paste down in the source images now just go to the front view view image plane import image just click the image here so that we can see the screwdriver here right just flip the screwdriver here if you want to uh, get the color back so if you want to decrease the background color white just control a we need will go to into the attribute editor this is called attribute you can see the much detailer of that image you can see the option called color gain here just decrease the color gain okay now just control a and keep keep down this image in the layer and in the reference mode so before that check the whether in the uh, whether the image in center or its back so push the image in the above the below the grid and just keep the reference okay now so you can see the cylind uh, you can see the screwdriver is in the cylinder shape right so let's start the model in the cylinder here so you can see the option here menu option create under create you can see the polygon primitives so select the shape cylinder here just click the cylinder so that you'll get the uh, shape of cylinder uh, you can see the options here inputs just click the poly cylinder uh, option here you can see the uh, it is having much inputs details here inputs is nothing but you need to give the inputs to that cylinder so right now the subdivision axis are 20 so for creating this type of model any kind of model you, need, you should not have more than 20 so keep either 12 or 8 okay and if you want to keep these caps uh, one you can keep or else you can keep zero okay and right now the shape what you are seeing it is matching here the shape of cylinder and the shape of this uh, screwdriver shape is matching not matching right so just rotate it in the same direction so i think so it is rotating in z axis right so click minus 90 and just keep w click w and you can see the radius right uh, type down like 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 0 0.05 go with the lesser value and just increase there In. Point 0.1 point 0.25 okay 0 0.18 18 is correct matching right again it's not matching 16 perfect 0 0.160 radius it is correctly matching but the shape what you are seeing it's going out of this shape right so go to vertex component select the vertex just keep it here select this vertex and just keep the shape here now i don't want this shape okay what i'll do i'll select the face here select the face and delete okay select the face delete now select this edge okay if you want to select this edge go to edge mode double click so that uh, it selects the entire loop of that edge so we need to use a tool called what extrude so go to edit mesh click extrude click w just move like this okay make scale down like this again if you want to use the tool continuously whatever the previous tool you are using you are using extrude right if you want to use that tool continuously press g g is a repeated tool so okay click w just move scale down okay again extrude w move it press r scale down got it so we have done that shape right now here the space is empty right i need to fill this shape so for, for filling this shape you need to go to the mesh tools uh where is yeah mesh you can see the mesh option right just click fill all okay 
just click fill all so that it fills the hole there but is in not correct mode why because the segments what are there it should be connected here so that you need to select the face here you need to go to the option called edit mesh you can see the poke okay click the poke option so that it connects the all the segments okay so no need of going always to the uh, here mesh of menu options you can directly select here hold the shift so that you can see the options here also got it you can see the poke face here right okay shift right click you can see the options here also go to the uh, vertex here just select the vertex point click w and move some little now we have done the back part right now we have left with the front so front also we need to do the same thing just select the edge double click now extrude right shift right click or else you can go to here also edit me edit mesh is a menu option where you can uh, select the extrude here so you can select the edge here edges just select the extrude edge click w and just move little bit forward press r and scale scale down like this again press extrude just move it like this if you want to make scale down press r and scale down like this press extrude again to here again press extrude w move little forward scale up i'm i'm just scaling from the center okay again just press g Okay, again press g is a repeat command i'm using okay you can get the option from here also so oh, you can see the option right whatever the last to previous tool you are using you can use the tool continuously by pressing g got it so g let's scale down go to the perspective view just extrude once again little bit extrude extrude and push it inside now we have done the shape basic shape of see uh, what screw driver but it's look like same huh? if you look the uh, screw driver in the real world we are having some uh, outer edge outer part right for creating that outer part we need to select the faces alternatively and we need to do the again extrude okay so just select the alternate faces just select the alternate faces and which operation we need to do extrude right shift right click you can see the extrude face and press r scale down inside scale down inside and if you press 3 you can see the shape got it we need to do the same thing here also okay select the alternate faces right select the alternate faces and just again apply the same operation extrude press r scale down scale down If you press three, you can see the shape of front and side got same. Got it? But it we need the cylinder, uh, we need the screwdriver shape looks like a heart. What actually I told in the first, whenever I press three and uh, whenever I press in the heart mode one and three, it look like same. So that we are introducing another tool called insert edge loop tool. So inter insert edge loop tool it works like wherever your uh, edges are less. okay so you can just add the edges at corner so that uh, it makes the model sharp and looks art okay press 3 so you can see now if i move the edges you can see it making the edges art got it you need to click and you need to move okay so here it is smooth i want to make here the edge should be sharp and nice right
okay just you can see the model we have done so just adjust the shape vertex just little bit outside inside so now you are done press pi so we have completed so this is how we create the school driver any doubts clear so first what we need to do we need to take a reference image take a cylinder and just rotate it uh, in the rotation z axis 90 degrees okay and just apply the extrude option according to the reference image and add the insert edge loop tools so that we can what it so we just continue with the next topic in the next class